we get into the video people, I am giving away Destiny 2 Campile Elite Collection codes to win one, make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that notification bell ticks, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Good luck everybody. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this insane farm for exotics, legendaries, mods, masterwork cores and much much more. But before we get into the video guys, if you do enjoy the content, leaving a like truly helps me out and I do appreciate that support. Also if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Okay, so this insane farm won't be here forever. In fact, it could change within 24 hours, but it will come back. And to be honest, this farm can be used on multiple missions. It's just the one for today's video. It's so, so super quick, it's unbelievable. So you wanna do this in a fire team of three, but it can be done solo for sure. It's just faster, obviously, in a fire team. You wanna, if you can, use the Icula shotgun which can be brought from the collection's vault if you have dismantled yours. Or if you never had it, any powerful fast firing shotgun will do. You then want to load up the daily story mission of Nothing Left To Say. This is a 500 power level mission. But in saying that, like I said, this technique could be used for any of these missions, each dropping different loot. It's just this mission you can run literally in a few minutes. I haven't tested the others yet, but I will be sure to do so. So load up this mission, once in run straight through the entire thing getting to that boss. Here you just want to take his health down using whatever you can. I recommend saving shotgun ammo for the next part though. I was using rocket launchers at this point but anything really helps. So once he goes immune, he either stays in the room and spawns adds or he teleports to the other room and still spawns adds. Either way to progress you have to take out all the adds which can take about 30 seconds. Once you have taken out the adds you kind of get teleported and dragged towards him. Here just wait until you are close enough to melee shotgun him with your Icarus. Doing this in a fire team, you will melt him in seconds and bam, out pops your loot. Now I ran this for about 15 minutes and you can see the loot I got on screen now. Now the armor he drops, it gives you mods when dismantled. As far as I know, he drops a helmet, which when dismantled gives you super mods. And the chest piece, depending on the character you are using, can either drop a recovery mod, which is for the hunter's chest piece, resilience, which is for the warlock's chest piece, and mobility for the titan's chest piece. Now this hasn't been confirmed, but it seemed to be this way every single time for me and my fire team. So yeah, if you have three characters, if you have a warlock, titan, and hunter, I suggest farm this on every character so you get a multiple a selection of mods. The weapons have a chance of dropping masterwork cores when dismantled. And there's also that chance of dropping exotics too, as you can see on screen now. This happened for my pal who got the two-tailed fox, the lucky mofo. But yeah guys, use this while you can. The other daily missions could work well also. Those I will test and let you know if I find anything worth farming. But this one so far is the fastest and most efficient we have found. So yeah, it's unbelievable. Definitely use it while you can. A full run takes minutes and you'll see that on the screen now. When done, simply load straight back into it. It's as easy as that, guys. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.
We did it. Only one name left. Aldrin Sov. It's time to end this. For Cade. You know what's down there. The Watchtower. The Fanatic. Aldrin. The End. Justice or revenge. Aldrin deserves what's coming to him. But... Guardian. The why of what we're doing is as important as the what. I don't know what you're thinking. But remember that. Approaching the watchtower on the way. Approaching by air. One name left. Aldrin Sov. It's time to end this. For Cade. 